I'm sorry guys, there is zero time to waste today. I am pulling up to the swap meet. It is dark, it is 5.20 in the morning. We got a lead of some good stuff, I'm going in. Ricky, Ricky, don't worry. We brought a lighting team this time <laughs> for this early. What's up, bro? What's going on? But what we got here today, well, they, look at that lighting. What we have here, again, is the same booth last time that had a lot of the animation studio stuff. So check this out. Look, like right here, right in the bottom, WB Hyperion Little Wizard Story. So it's a lot of tracks. Look at this reel right here, dude. Oh, look at this reel, for real. Brave Little Toaster goes to Mars. Check it out. Right here. Oh my gosh. Mech Arena is the perfect game for those who love shooters but don't have time like they used to. Like me, I'm always super busy editing, making YouTube videos, and being a dad of three kids. So you know what that means. Weekends are filled with volleyball, jujitsu, dance recitals, and more. The reason that I like Mech Arena so much is that I can play two or three matches in less than 10 minutes and still get into a really fun game. The maps are tight and designed for short, intense gameplay with tons of encounters and respawns. That's a whole lot of game in a short period of time. The matches are action-packed and you can even play in short spurts. I like that you can play a game from start to finish and five minutes. The high-speed action, tactics, and constant encounters are what makes this game stand out above other games. It's not a reflex first-person shooter game, and it doesn't feel slow and mediocre like a lot of other mech games, and trust me, I've seen my kid play some brutally slow mech games. It is completely free to play on Android and iOS right now, and you can use my personal link or scan my QR code to get bonuses worth 30 bucks. We're talking about one skin, one amateur crate, and 5,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me to your friends and we can play some matches together. So don't wait around. All right, all right, there's, there's papers in here. Let's see what it is. What do we got in here? So we got some artwork going on. The vendor actually told us, he's like, hey, you guys have some paper. I mean, right there, you can see some animation cells already. So let's see if we can find some in here that we're super interested in. You can see them from the, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's literally frame by frame animation cells right here, as you can tell. Wow, these are actually, gosh darn beautiful. Again, very cool, but I'm hoping to find something that, you know, is like a childhood favorite of Ricky and I's. Let's see. So apparently everything in this bin is all from that show, Oz. I'm not gonna lie, I, I vaguely remember it, seeing it. It's like a Wizard of Oz, Oz Kids type cartoon. But look, it's also from Deke Productions, Ricky. So it's the same place as the, um, how we had the Double Dragon stuff was from Deke as well. But this obviously isn't as like memorable for us, but still really cool. This is all tons of them, just filled with them. So again, we're holding a light. This is why we dig though. We're like underneath the books, the, the, the booths, just like checking out random corners. And see, Ricky's just pulling up some cool and this is all old stuff again guys most of the stuff comes from old animation studios so super cool just pulling up random stuff every other second That's why I guess. These hats are super cool. Apparently it's from like a leasing company back in the day, but you can tell they had some uh, some old school style hats because they're probably an old school company. Oh, there we go. 1994 was when these came out. They're all pretty cool. Might have to snag a couple. Oh, Ricky just found something fan freaking tastic. The old Tycho Batman Gotham City board game chase kind of Hot Wheel thing. And then also, ooh, the Dayglo Highway Patrol. Oh, I see it. The <laughs> battle bikes. Power Rangers, oh my gosh, <laughs> Ricky. That is really cool, That's dude. Really I haven't cool. seen something like this in a very long time. Is that thing time. sealed? Um, it may possibly, actually. I don't think this is separated, Ricky. I don't oh, think it is. Shoot. I think that's technically a brand new one in box. Might have to check that out. This is oh, the, type of one now. the colors on this thing. Let's see. Oh, oh my it's gosh. Sealed. It's sealed too? It's sealed too. And just a couple feet over at a different booth, we got the Willow board game. What's up with these cool board games right now? By the way, guys, we did buy a bunch of stuff. I like that animation studio lot. We bought a bunch of stuff. Haven't showed you guys yet. We'll show you guys later. Maybe in another video because there's a lot to go through, but live for different production stuff as well. And a lot of shirts, but now Ricky's just diving through this board game of goodness. I think Ricky's gonna pick it up for five bucks. Had no clue, had zero clue. They had a child play two comic book. I'm gonna have to pick this up, it's only a dollar. Also, this is why you love Swans. Look, you got Funko Pops, you got random toys, you got Spider-Mans, you got helmets right there. And look over here, just a world of people looking at a ton of Transformers, of different robots, of Star Wars stuff. Look at this, giant, giant right here. Look at this, just everywhere. It's still dark out, it's still like 5.40 in the morning. 
Again, it is first thing in the morning. We already got board games, video games, production studio stuff. Oh, by the way, I'm buying this. More vintage clothing stuff. I love the look on this. And just so much stuff. And literally, guys, the sun has just started to poke out. And by the way, this is only 10 bucks. And it's freaking beautiful. Bro, fan me off, bro. Fan me off. Oh, oh, oh. He's winding up. Oh, he's heating up. Oh, oh, Ricky, that produces so much wind. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know what's it for. Seriously? I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> Ricky, this, this, I mean, this would look good. Do you think my wife would like this giant sign in her front yard? Yes. The random strangers can come up and ask for a cold beer snack, newspaper, or a soft drink. All right, guys, if you've ever listened to Phoenix Resale, which is a horrible idea, by the way. And you're fired. He says to always look for the diamond base Skylanders. Do you watch Phoenix Resale? No. Yes! My yeah, yes, yes! By the way, can we see that shirt? Sweet Lord in heaven. Anyone ever use these? They're by Hori. They're for the Switch. It basically makes it a big, giant, bulky, and you know, handheld grip Nintendo Switch like that. Clip, clip, super sick. So this Pog folder, it's how they created Pogs. That's actually probably true, Ricky. It's not, but it would be pretty cool. All, all I really notice is how you know you're like a, a weird brain space. All I'm noticing is like, wow, this person has great handwriting. <laughs> I didn't even notice the Pog thing. I'm like, that's wonderful. Ricky, they got they got a CD that defines our, our what our show is now. <laughs> it's the Flipper Love. Ricky, yeah. what do you think of this? So skateboarding, as I've said a million times, is my thing. But I've told the story when I was go to construction sites with my dad, he would give me these old banana boards. It's kind of in my head to buy that, Ricky. Kind of like Lords of Dogtown. Hey, Dusty. Oh, geez, Dusty's listening. Hey, bro, if you hit me a sick beat, bro, on those bongos right now, I'll, I'll buy it, bro, for 20 bucks. I'm not impressed, but I'll still buy it for 20 bucks. <laughs> All right, so I did just buy this for 20 bucks, but then Dusty came over and he said, oh, give me my 20 back. If me or, oh, if he hit 777. Oh, seven, seven. Oh, no, dang it. I totally won. <laughs> wait, wait, go. First of all, leg workout. Second of all, there's no way I'm putting both feet on this. It will completely crack, but it's very surprising the wheels have such a good turn. Again, look at this though. There is no bearings. If you look at these old wheels and type of truck, there's basically very minimal items holding this together, which is why even some of this, as you can see, is coming off. Like right here, look at the type. It's just some nail type downs, but uh, super old. Just the kind of stuff that I love. You know, I mean, there's no kicktail. Look at Ricky, almost. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to get the, the, the swag going on this. Oh, there you go. That is a massive RC. It's the Fat Boy. It's the Harley Davidson Fat Boy, but that is an RC car. It's huge. Also, they got this over here. This this holiday. Is this a holiday? This is a Christmas. Yeah, this is a Christmas Looney Tunes Daffy right there. It looks so dope. Some Batman, the animated series Batman mobile vehicle. Ooh, baby, and some other bat. Oh gosh, what? Adult superstars. <gasps> Come on. Ricky over here looking at a VHS player. And the great news is, is there's this sign right here that clearly states VHS nope. for two You know why I really want it? Why? This was a display model. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. So it's probably played for like hours and hours. Oh, wow, 10 bucks right there. Ricky, that is, I mean. Ricky. Do you guys have the switch with this or is it just the dock? Or the dock? How much is the dock? Okay, I'll take that. Ooh la la. Look at the VHS tapes here. Invisible Man, Sleepers, Halloween, Wolfman, State of Grace, Frankenstein, Mummy, Lost Boys, Warlock. Bruce Lee, I'm pretty, oh shoot, I'm pretty much gonna grab all of these. I didn't even finish talking about the Switch dock I got over there. I gotta see how much these are first. How much are the VHS tapes? Three bucks? Evil Dead, time to put it in. All right, Ricky severely was underplaying, in my opinion, how cool this is. So display unit stuff, I mean, think about it, Ricky, yeah. in the video game world, it's huge, right? Yeah, it's humongous. But you don't think about it in this type of world, but this was obviously something that would be inside of, you know, a radio shack, it could have been a, a, a Toys R Us, I don't know, Circuit City. Do we even know until we got there, because it was like this, and I was like, what is this? 10 bucks, <laughs> great deal. Ten and then bucks. I, a big score, was a Switch dock and this, the, the Switch controller, the, the thing that holds the Joy-Cons, 
for five bucks. That's what they asked. I know it's severely underpriced, but I didn't barter. They straight up said five, and I was like, all right. I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, I love the swap meet. All right, let's give a little bolo to the audience. Curtis over here, you found this tool, and I was just like, bro, why are you showing me this tool, bro? I don't care, but why? Because it's worth about 80 to 90 bucks. Really, so what do, what do people need to look for? Uh, just I would say it's like a Swiss Army. It's a uh, Victor NX is the type of uh, tool. It's a multi-tool, so it's pretty sick. Funko Pops right here. There's a Goofy Kingdom Hearts one, another Big Pete Kingdom Hearts, and Beetlejuice, not Kingdom Hearts. Let's see, I'll pick these up. I think he said three bucks each, so I think that's worth doing. Found a hat for Phoenix Resale. All right, we got a Sony PlayStation, a PlayStation 2, Xbox 360s, all different versions and variants, PS4s, PS3, Xboxes, and now to the games. Let's see. Oh, yeah, a lot of good ones. DuckTales Remastered, Mario Kart Wii, just so many good games. We'll start poking around here, see if we can find anything uh, that's worth it. Uh, yeah, for $2.00. I'm in. Someone just showed me something. I'm like, dude, is it okay if I record it? He's like, yeah, dude, I watch your show. It's all good. I'm like, oh, sick. Dude, that is freaking fire, bro. Oh my gosh. That I am, I gotta say, you very much have me extremely jealous right now. So good job on that. Beautiful, dude. I love it. I was looking at these right now. Some of these PlayStation 2 Japanese, you know, import games. But Final Fantasy one looks dope. This looks super dope. Clean. Look at that art style. Just beautiful soft color palettes right there. Love it. Cool. There you go. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, guys. Ricky has officially left me in the dust, but I just found these at the last booth, and I wanted to show you just a little closer because it's important. It's cool. Now, of course, you know, they're Japanese games, so, you know, I don't know anything about them, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, you know, you got to rely on two things. Your brain, recognizing characters or images. In this case, obviously, Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy, but... Also, Google Lens saves you in positions like this. I couldn't remember the names of this series, but I know I've played these games before. I think I've played the arcade ports, but it's called like Jikyu or something like that when I ended up searching it up. Just super cool and super clean. And this one, obviously, I recognize the Harvest Moon characters on it. So I had to pick it up. I got all of these just for 20 bucks. So what a fantastic, fantastic deal and super cool to see. And by the way, they're super, super clean, like clean condition. Yo, bro, what? You just found butt wipe, Beavis and Butthead toilet paper? <laughs> I was like, wait, what is it? I'm like, hey, bro, what are you holding? He's like, butt wipes. I'm like, bro, don't be rude. And I'm like, oh, wait, you really are holding Beavis and Butthead butt wipes. <laughs> Ooh, some gamey games, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Xbox, Bard's Tale, World Soccer, and NBA Starting Five. How much are the games? Three bucks? I'll take this one. Ooh, from a mile away, I see an Xbox 360 in very questionable condition with a hard drive. Uh, that's a that's a scary purchase right there. Even if ah, it's just it's, oh God. I bought an Xbox 360s before and been burned out of my butt for them. So maybe not, but a lot of games down here, kind of lying around. Let's say I don't see anything like directly off off the rippers. But let me zippity doo dah. Oh yeah, I picked up both of these at the last booth for five bucks. He knows how to butter me up. I said, how much for the shoes? And he said, for anyone else, 10, but for me, $8. You know, no, no, no. I'm buying, I'm strictly buying these to wear these. I actually really love the way they look. So I'm in. I, I, I thought this was a toy. I almost picked it up and asked how much. No, I didn't, but I actually thought it was a toy. It's a beautiful bird. So let me make this very clear. I am in the vintage clothing game, but I know nothing about shoes. So again, if this is a good deal on eight bucks on these, awesome. If it's a horrible deal, doesn't matter to me because they're, they're for wearing. These boots were made for walking. Hey, hey, since Ricky had to leave, I miss him. Can I throw my shoes in your duffel bag for Ricky's sake? Ready? All right. Are we going? We're going underhand. If I make these, I won't hit him. I got it. Oh no, sorry, Curtis. Oh, one last try. Oh God. Uh, oh no. There's new, hey, 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 hey. Those, those, that scuff wasn't on there before, bro. You gotta refund me. All right, y'all, let's do it. Best in the comments below, best James Taylor song. He's got a million beautiful songs. I literally, quite literally, absolutely love his voice and it makes me extremely emotional. I'm gonna say Carolina in my mind. Right now, I'm gonna say it. That's my today choice. Ooh, okay, walking into Dusty's booth. What do we got right away? 
right off the Skippy Skipper. Total chaos. Man, I see these kind of lying around a lot. Todd McFarlane. I'm going to say, I don't know the world about toys, but I do know I always see Spawn and other Todd McFarlane's stuff lying around, so I don't know if it doesn't hold value or what, but it's always around. All right, I never do these, but Ricky's not here, so it's, it's my show today, and I'm choosing to do parking lot pickups. Jared, insert some weird sound effect that might be cool, maybe? All right, we're going to fly fast on these. First thing, and my favorite thing, is this Jeep shirt super sick jeep sweatshirt super cool five dollars for a switch dock and the switch joy con holder unreal got these as well evil dead halloween ultimate alliance and a single stitch blank you know if you're in the vintage shirt game you know there's nothing like a good all over print but when you're out with the wife and she's like please don't wear a donkey kong shirt out to dinner again you got to wear vintage blank single stitch also a really weird kind of like sailor look what would you call this like sailor ish old 60s look type i don't know it's cool dang it i was hoping it'd go over the camera and look really cool <laughs> fail pat this is this is stupid more hats and then here's the the big stack right here harvest moon bard's tail i forgot the word what was the word i don't want to uh offend anybody jinku or something like jinko jinku something like that and curtis behind the camera gave me these and a bunch of Funko Pops, and lastly, which I will have to show you guys later, stuff from the production company. We talked with the guy, gonna have stuff on hold.